Hello, hello, my amazing artists. Today we're going to finish our cherry blossom branch project. Hopefully you have already gotten your paper with your branch on it and you have cut out your birds. I love my birds. I did so, so good on them. Um, you have your background project. Okay. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a look at your project and you're going to decide, hmm, do I need more branches? And if you would like, you can add a few more sections to your branches, okay? Just so that your paper isn't empty. If it stops only halfway, then you need to add some more. All right, moving on. The next thing is, you're going to take your birds and you're going to put them somewhere on your project where they're resting on the branch. And before you glue them down, I want you to do something called arranging. That's deciding where you think your birds would go best. Play around with this. Okay, before you glue down, because once you glue down, you can't change it. Hmm. Hmm. I like mine there. Make sure that when you do this, none of your... Uh, your birds are not going off the paper. Oops, I made that mistake right here. I have to move it just a little bit. Oh, but maybe I don't like it there anymore. Aha, much better for me. All right, the next thing is you are going to get a strip of tissue paper. And what I want you to do, let me zoom in here. What I want you to do is I want you to take a bit of your tissue paper, tear it off, crumple it up so it kind of looks like a cherry blossom. When you go to glue, you might be have you might be using glue sticks or glue bottles, whatever you use, one dot holds a lot and make sure you put your glue on your background paper, not on the tissue paper. So let's see, put a little dab, little circle, little dot, take my crumpled up tissue paper and boom, there it goes. Make sure that your cherry blossoms fill up your branch, but you still wanna see some of your branches too. If you wanted to put a couple of your cherry blossoms floating in the breeze, you could probably do that too. But you're going to take those cherry blossoms and you're going to fill up or add some spots to your branches. All right, when you're finished with that, the last thing that you're going to do is get a green piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half. And we're going to use this to make some leaves. Let's see. I'm going to put this to the side for a moment. Mm. Shape of the leaf is really simple. I'm going to draw a curve going up like a rainbow line and a curve going down like a smile line. I could probably fit at least four on my paper here, maybe five if I squish it or six if I squish it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Over, over, under, under, over, over, under, under. When you go to cut these out, you're going to make sure you keep your paper folded. Take your time. And they should pop right out. Mm -hmm. Now I've got some leaves. Just like your background, just like your your tissue paper, when you go to add glue, you want to put the glue on the background paper. 
not on your little papers. A little bit of background. And I get a leaf. I love it. Now, if you want to get super fancy, you can by adding a little bit of taking a green crayon, adding a little detail line on your leaf. But that's only if you have time and you want to get super fancy. One line or a couple lines, that's up to you. All right, boys and girls, have fun creating your cherry blossom branch and get creative.